to a seat with a nice tall spine. And we'll inhale a little length into the spine and exhale a little softness through the face and shoulders. Close your eyes and we'll start with that box breathing we've been doing, just meaning four equal parts. You find a count that works for you and make your inhale and then the pause and then the exhale and then the pause, all that same length, okay? If you don't feel like counting, you don't have to. Maybe just making each breath and each hold last as long as you can. Not to the point where you're gasping for air. But if you notice you're having some thoughts running through your head, sometimes counting can help you stay in this moment, stay in the body. So let's just go ahead and make that our our focus, our intention for practice tonight, just staying present. You know, some days you feel like, oh, I'm really gonna push it tonight, you know, and you got some extra energy and you're gonna like really do all the things and find all the length and engage everything to the max. Imagine all of that just in that mental or, or psychological way that you're gonna really push it in, in being present, all right? You're gonna be diligent every time you see the mind Drift off. You just do that little inner smile, that welcoming, that little I see you there, no judgment, and just come back to that breathing into the belly. And make that your focus tonight, being diligent to staying in this moment. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced a class where you were able to stay with your breath through an entire class. It's life changing. Once you do it, you're just like so hooked. You're like, oh my God, I just can't wait to go back because you want to see if you can do it again. It's, it's really amazing. And it took me years and years. So if you haven't experienced it, don't worry. It will come. But only if you are diligent. Yeah? Because so there's always going to be 10,000 things trying to hijack your mind. And so you always have to 10,000 times be right there, remembering to stay in the body, stay with the breath. And once you can learn to stay in the body and with the breath through a whole yoga practice, eventually maybe you can learn to stay in the body and with the breath throughout the day. That's the goal, right? Just a couple more rounds of this box breathing here. See if you can draw it out just a little bit more. And then we're gonna to come to lying on our back. Hug your knees into your chest and move however it feels good. Maybe rocking side to side, maybe circling the knees. And now come into a happy baby. See if you can massage out the low back a little bit. So as you rock to the right side, Pull the right knee down towards the ground and press the small of the right side of the back into the ground. Keep your chin slightly tucked. All right, grab your big toes. We're gonna slowly rock all the way up to balancing here with our legs straight. If you fall, no worries, just try it again. Come back up. So the harder you kick, the easier this will be. Lift up through the heart, soften through the face and shoulders, and kick. Pull the belly in. Find your breath. Firing up the core already. Stay for one more breath. And release. Cross your feet in front of you. Bring your right foot in front. Maybe you want to bring that right heel up into the center line. Maybe you're working on coming into lotus. All right, press the sit bones down, lift the heart up. 
We're gonna do a few rounds of seated cat cow. So use your hands to pull the belly forward and then the heart shines forward and then up as you drop the head back. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin to the chest, round it out, pull the belly in, empty all the way. Inhale, pull it forward and fill up. See how long you can make each breath. You don't have to hold it as long anymore, but do try to find that little pause between each breath. It'll just help you to stay present and stay focused. One more inhale and exhale. See how long you can make it last. Slowly come back up to a nice tall spine. And now drop the right ear towards the right shoulder and walk the left fingertips out to the side. My boyfriend came back to Reno for a week and he stole the speaker, so we have no music. But that's okay, because I have the ear to myself and it's really, really, really nice. Okay, walk those fingers out, keep softening through the face and the neck and the shoulders. Maybe the right hand wants to come up and help a little more depth into that stretch. Not a lot of pressure, just a little subtle invitation to find a little more length through that left side. Lift the head back up. Reach the right arm up and over now, bending into the left elbow. Start to draw that right elbow back and then reach through the fingertips. Root down into the sit bones. Maybe that right sit bone's trying to come up. Press it down. Roll the heart up towards the ceiling just a little bit. Find your breath. Find a little more length through that whole right side of the body. A little more softness through the face and shoulders. Maybe a little more bend in that left elbow and slowly come back up. And now we're gonna switch the cross of your feet, bringing the opposite foot inside, maybe the opposite heel up into the center line. And we're gonna drop the left ear towards the left shoulder and walk the right fingertips out now. So the more you reach through those fingertips, the more you're gonna feel this through that right shoulder and trap. Maybe that left hand comes up to invite a little more length with that exhale, find a little more softness. Find that little pause in between. Lift the head back up, bend into the right elbow, reach the left hand up and over, rooting down into that left sit bone now, rolling the heart back, reaching through the fingers. We'll slowly come back up. And now we'll come onto the hands and knees and get a nice tabletop set up, starting to stack everything in place. Really start to engage everything here. Press into your fingers and knuckles. Shine the heart forward, roll the shoulders back. Lengthen spine and the back of your neck. So just stay right here for a couple breaths. See if you can breathe a little more length into your spine and the back of your neck. And just a reminder, when I tell you like 15 verbal cues, Yes, they are important. Yes, they will help you with alignment, but really it's just trying to give your mind something to do so it's not doing that little chatter thing it likes to do. So you don't have to worry about doing every last little thing, but if it's helpful to you to keep your mind still, then do all the things, yeah? They will help you to strengthen and lengthen. Reach back through the right heel, toes on the ground, and find length through the whole back side of that right leg. Press into your hands, shine the heart forward, roll the shoulders back. Mostly the cues really help with alignment by just making sure you're not doing anything weird. That's why you look at all the little things, because sometimes you'll just, you know, you'll bend one elbow or kind of rock to one side, depending on where you're strong or where you're weak. So you always want to set up and make sure like your arms are straight and strong and you're still lengthening the spine. You're not letting one hip dip down or roll back. Now lift the right leg up. Press back through the heel so that foot is flexed. Find your breath. Now reach the left hand forward like you would shake somebody's hand. Keep the left shoulder relaxed, but reach forward. Press back through the heel. Find a little more length through the back of the neck. 
Exhale, bring your knee to your nose, round it out. Inhale, lengthen and lift, point your toe now. Lift that leg just a little higher than the level, look forward. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, lengthen out, see how long you can make it last. Exhale, bring the knee all the way in to touch your nose. One more inhale to lengthen, hold here. Lower the left hand down, lower that right foot to the back of the mat. We're gonna roll the right arm up. If it's hard to balance, slide that left foot behind you like a little kickstand, and then reach that right arm up and overhead. See if you can root down into the right foot just like you were in warrior two. Scoot the hips forward, roll the heart up towards the sky. Draw the shoulder out of the ear and reach through the fingers. Relax your head and your neck. Keep that engagement with the left hand, pressing through the fingers and knuckles. Now really engage your core and come all the way up. Right hand to right thigh, left hand reaches up and over. Keep that right quad activated to protect that knee. Next exhale, lower the left hand back down. Reach the right arm back up. You can lift the right leg if you want, or you can keep the right foot grounding down. One more time, inhale, come up. Reach the left hand up, stay for one breath. Lower the left hand down. Now straighten the right leg back behind you and reach the left hand back, grabbing that foot, kicking up into the hand. Maybe you grab on the pinky toe side, keep rooting into the right hand. Try to make sure that shoulder stays stacked over your wrist. Lift the heart. Maybe you start to gaze back, kicking up into the hand as hard as you can. And release, come back hands and knees and do a couple big slow circles with the hips. Even here, just check in with the hands, keep them activated. Check in with the core, keep it activated. Check in with the breath, keep it steady and slow, finding that pause in between, switch directions. Slowly come back up, hands and knees. Reach back to that left heel, keeping the toes down, lengthening from heel to heart and the back of your neck as well. Arms straight and strong. Find your breath. Press back to that heel. Now lift the left foot. Keep it flexed. Reach the right hand forward. Lengthen out. Exhale, knee to nose. Round it out. Inhale, lengthen and lift. Point the toe. Exhale, knee to nose, belly in, empty every last drop. Inhale, lengthen, lift, reach. Exhale, round it out. One more inhale to lengthen. And then we'll lower that left foot back behind, maybe sliding the right foot behind you like a kickstand. Roll the left arm up and then bring it up alongside the ear. Rooting down into the left foot like warrior two, scoop the hips forward. Roll the heart up towards the sky, draw the shoulder out of the ear, and then reach through the fingers. Relax the head and the neck, check in with that right hand, ground it down. Engage your core, lift from there as you come up, left hand, left thigh, right hand reaches up and over. Right hand lowers down, left hand lifts up, maybe left foot lifts up, or maybe you keep it grounding down. One more time, inhale, come up. Slowly lower back down. Straighten that left leg back behind you again. Reach the right hand back. See if you can grab that foot, maybe pinky toe side, and kick up into your hand. Root down into the left hand. Lift up through the heart. Maybe you start to gaze back over that right shoulder. Find your breath. And release. Curl the toes. Slowly lift up, downward facing dog. Pedal it out if you like. Checking with the hands and the arms. Checking with the head. Make sure it's hanging heavy or chin slightly tucked to lengthen the back of the neck. Make sure the shoulders are soft and drawing up out of the ears a little bit.
Inhale, lift the right foot up high. Come up on your tippy toes. Exhale, draw your knee to your nose. Lower the left knee all the way down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower the hands. Set the left foot forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. And exhale, fold. Any fold you like. Maybe you grab the elbows and start to sway a little bit. Press into the feet, reverse swan dive, come all the way up, find a little backward bend, find your feet, lift the heart. Exhale, hands to heart, and hands down by your sides. Now bring the feet together, or hip width distance apart if that feels better to you. I'm trying to get away with not turning on the light because we don't have any solar activity today because it's been raining all day. But we'll see, I might have to turn it on. Inhale the arms up till they're parallel to the ground. Palms face down. All right, find the feet, press them down, lift your quads up, draw the low belly in and up. See if you can get any longer in both directions. See if you can find a little more length. Now really reach out through the index finger. Like you're being measured, find that extra centimeter. Keep drawing the shoulders down and lifting through the heart. Now reach through the middle finger. Keep the shoulders soft as you reach through the ring finger. Press into the feet, reach through the pinky finger. Keep the shoulders soft as you turn the palms now to face up. And one more time, start with the pinky. Reaching out even a little bit more, shooting energy out through those fingers. Ring finger. Keep lengthening through the crown and softening through the shoulders. Middle finger. Index finger. Inhale, arms up overhead, squeeze the palms together, lift the fingers high. Exhale, swan dive, press your feet like you press them through the floor to activate the core to protect the back. Exhale, all the air, empty out. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step it back to plank and find a nice long line of energy here. If your mind starts to wander, count the seconds of your breath or just use all the verbal cue in doing all the things. Give your mind something to do, pressing through the fingers and knuckles, shining the heart forward, rolling the shoulders back, always finding as much length as you possibly can. And now lower any way you like, and we'll do a couple rolling baby cobras. So hands stay under shoulders, elbows hugging tight, press into the feet, find length first, and then come up. Keep softness in the face and shoulders. Move slowly with your breath. Let the inhale lift you up and fill you up. See how long you can make it last. Exhale just as slowly, letting that air out and lowering yourself back down. One more time. Make it last a little longer. Find a little more space. Find a little more softness. Curl the toes, press the sit bones back, slowly come up, downward facing dog. Finding stillness now if you're ready. Sinking into those heels, lifting the quads up off the knees and then pressing them back. Maybe try finding a little more length in the back of your neck as you tuck your chin a little bit and look up at the belly. It's a nice reminder to draw the belly in and up, hollowing it out. Soften through the shoulders and the fronts of the ankles, press through the fingers and the knuckles. Inhale, lift the left foot up, come up on the toes. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose, step it through and lower down. One inhale, rise up, fill up. Exhale, lower hands, step right foot forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. And exhale, fold. Press into the feet. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Take your time. Find a little backward bend. Exhale, hands to heart. And hands down by your sides. Inhale, reach out, lengthen up. Exhale, swan dive, lengthen forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step back to plank and hold. Find a little more length. Find a little more space in your mind, in your body, between each breath. Slowly lower any way you like. And you can either 
could do a couple of rolling baby cobras, or you can start to straighten into the arms, maybe coming up into a full cobra. So using the hands to pull the heart forward and roll the shoulders back, try to soften through the glutes, but keep pressing through the feet. Maybe for the last breath, you look up and reach up through the chin, opening the throat. Exhale very slowly, lower back down. Curl the toes under, press it up to plank, and then lift back up, downward facing dog. Press into your fingers and knuckles, especially that thumb and index finger, just a little bit more. Head is either heavy or you're finding that little bit of length in the back of the neck, hollow out the belly. Soften shoulders, face, fronts of the ankles. Stay for two more breaths. Inhale, lift the right foot up. Exhale, bring the knee to the nose and step it through. Now roll with the outside edge of that left foot and just let the right knee fall open. Maybe the right hand even helps that knee open a little bit. Root down into the left hand, lift up through the heart. Roll the shoulders down the back, lengthen through the back of the neck. It's getting kind of dark, huh? Can't see it very good. Sweep that right foot back like side plank. You can stack it or lift it, reach the right hand up. Keep the hips scooping forward and lifting away from the mat a little more. Reach up through the right hand, find your breath. Now maybe you grab that big toe and straighten that leg out, kicking that leg out, maybe. And then we're gonna step that right foot back up to the top of the mat and roll your right hand down and slowly come up into crescent lunge, pressing your right knee forward, drawing the right hip back. So bend into the right knee a little bit more, letting it track straight out over that second toe. Feel that right hip drawing back, heart is lifting, face and shoulders softening. Lower the hands to the mat, step the left foot forward and find a chair pose, sink into the heels. Sweep the floor and then reach forward and up. Lower into that chair a little more. Pull the belly in. Stand up. Find a little backward bend. Inhale. Reach out. Lengthen up. Exhale. Swan dive. Lengthen forward. Inhale. Lift up halfway. Exhale, chaturanga, meeting back in downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left foot high, come up on the toes. Exhale, knee to nose, step it through. Roll to the outside edge of that right foot. Let the left knee fall open. So you're rolling to the outside edge of both feet, really. Letting that knee fall open, maybe the hand helps here. Root down into the right hand more, lift up through the heart, see where you can soften. And then slowly sweep that foot back, coming into side plank, other side, lift those hips, scoop them towards the long edge, find your breath, maybe you lift that leg up. Maybe you grab the big toe and straighten that leg out in front of you. Lower the left hand, step the left foot forward and slowly come up to crescent lunge. Press the left knee forward, level out the hips, and find a little more space in the body, in the spine, in the arms, between each breath. And exhale, chaturanga, meeting back in downward facing dog. Okay, from downward facing dog, we're gonna press into the hands and bend the knees a lot and see if you can just hop. Just hop in place, not trying to get anywhere. Just see if you can hop your feet up off the ground a couple inches. Maybe you start to stack the shoulders over the hips. And then we'll just start to hop towards the top of the mat, hopping a couple inches at a time, bringing your feet all the way up to meet your hands. Inhale, shine the heart forward. Spread your feet as wide as your hips and hook those big toes with your peace sign fingers. Inhale, shine the heart forward, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, fold, pull your head down towards the ground. Pull your shoulders up out of the ears, belly in and up out of the way. 
Rock a little weight into the balls of the feet. Lift those sit bones up and back. Make this breath last a little bit longer. And release, reverse swan dive, come all the way up. Find a little backward bend, exhale, hands to heart. And hands down by your sides. All right, feet are together, press down into the feet, lift up through the heart. Bring your hands to your heart. Find that length in the back of your neck, letting the head bow to the heart. Close your eyes, soften through the face and the shoulders. One more breath, see how long you can make it last. Root down into the feet, find a little more space. All right, inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, swan dive, your hands to feet. Now shoot the right foot up high like standing splits. And then slowly come to standing, bringing the right knee with you, lifting it up high. Cross the right knee over the left and see if your toes can wrap around. And then drop your right arm under your left, see if you can get your palms to touch. And then sink in a little deeper, softening into that standing ankle and knee, trying to draw everything into the center line. Draw the elbows out and up, softly draw the shoulders down the back, lengthen through the back of the neck. Find your breath, find that little space in between. Pull the belly in, draw the upper body back. Slowly come back up, lift the right knee up high. Inch forward, shoot the right heel back till it's parallel to the ground, body's parallel to the ground. Flex that foot, point the toes down, level the hips out by pressing into the left foot and lifting the left quad to lift the left hip as you lower the right hip. Elbows towards the ground, fingers towards the front of the room. Find your breath and slowly step back into crescent lunge with eagle arms. Press the left knee forward. Find a little backward bend, lifting the elbows and looking up. Now keep the left knee bending deeply as you drop your body down inside it. Keep pressing the left knee forward. Keep pressing the right heel back. Now release the arms and walk the hands over towards the long edge, coming to a wide leg forward fold. So you can face either side of your mat. You'll just have to remember which way you go and which foot you have facing forward. All right, so toes turn in just a little bit. Inhale to lift up halfway, roll the shoulders back. And exhale, fold. Maybe if I open this, it'll be a little bit of white. Not really, huh? Okay, so grab the big toes. No, actually, interlace the fingers behind you. Maybe the palms glue together. Reach the hands up and overhead. Relax the head and the neck. Start to rock a little weight into the balls of the feet, lifting those sit bones up and back. Find your breath, find a little space. Release your hands to your hips, put a little bend in the knees and slowly come on up. Turn your toes all the way out towards the short edges of the mat and try to stack your knees over your ankles. You might need to move around a little bit. Start to draw those knees open to keep them stacked over the ankles, maybe helping them open a little bit. Now bring your thumbs pointing down at the knees and on the inside of your knees and start to rest a little weight here to lengthen your spine. But keep drawing those knees open more. Now shine the heart forward. Now lengthen through the spine, soften through face and shoulders. Now drop your right shoulder towards your left foot. Find your breath. Keep pressing those knees straight out over those second toes. Keep rolling the shoulders back. Come back to center, set it up again. Resituate if you need to, find a little more space. And then drop left shoulder towards right foot. Don't let the knees start collapsing in, okay? Open them back and then let them press out over those second toes. Roll the shoulders back, soften one more time and come back to center. 
And now reach your arms up like cactus, like goddess arms. Press into the feet and stand all the way up. Straight legs, straight arms, reach up out of the waist. Now act like you're carrying a really heavy weight or moving through water or something even thicker as you come all the way down, bending deeply. See how long you can make each breath and each move last. Press into the feet. Inhale, rise up, fill up, big, big. Exhale, make sure your knees are drawing back, your elbows are drawing back, and then the knees are going out over those second toes, yeah, middle toes. One more time, inhale, come up, fill up, find a little space at the top. Exhale, sink in. Bring your hands to your hips. Turn your left toes towards the front of the mat. Actually, all your toes towards the front of the mat, but your left foot in front, yeah? Level the hips out, find that crescent lunge, and cartwheel hands to mat for chaturanga. Meeting back in downward facing dog. Take one more breath here. And then again, we're just gonna do a couple hops right in place here, pressing into the hands and just seeing if you can catch a little bit of hang time. Maybe you're trying to stack shoulders over hips. Maybe you're just getting a couple inches off the ground. Just see if you can find that core and engage it here. And then we'll start to slowly take little hops towards the top till our feet come up to meet our hands. All right, now we're gonna inhale, shoot the left foot high like standing splits. And then come all the way to standing, bringing that left knee with you. Cross that left knee over the right, bring the left arm under the right, eagle arms, eagle legs. So see if you can wrap those toes around and then slide them down as you relax that right ankle and right knee more. Draw the elbows out and up, shoulders down the back, belly in, upper body back. Find your breath, find the length in the back of the neck. Find that space between your breath. Slowly come up, lift that left knee, hinge at the hips, come down, everything parallel to the ground. Left foot flex, toes point down, level the hips, elbows towards the floor, fingers towards the top edge of the mat. Find your breath, move slowly into a crescent lunge with eagle arms, letting the right knee track over that second toe, find a little backward bend. And now drop your head inside that right knee. Keep pressing the right knee forward. Let your head be heavy. And release. Walk your hands over to that wide leg forward fold. Turn your toes in a little bit. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, fold. Now you can either reach around and grab the outside edge of your feet, or you can grab onto your big toes. Do a half lift to find all the length. And then exhale, fold. Maybe you just want to walk the hands back between your legs. Or maybe you feel like going upside down. If you can get your head to the ground and start to lift your toes, your feet off the ground with no momentum, just using your core, feel free to go up. Nice. Stay with your breath. Slowly come back to center. Put a little bend in your knees. Bring your hands to your hips. Turn your toes out. Try to stack the knees over the ankles. Sink in. Find those cactus arms. Goddess pose. Sink in a little more. Draw those elbows and knees back a little bit more. And now lift the heels up off the ground. Coming up high on the toes. Keep bending the knees more. Tailbone is slightly tucked. Heart is shining forward. Shoulders drawing back. Now draw those elbows and knees back one more time. Find your breath. Lower the heels down, inhale, straight legs, straight arms, reach up, move really, really slow. Pay attention to the knees, you're drawing them back, just like the elbows, and then pressing them out towards the second toe. Inhale, press into all four corners of the feet. Find everything activating here, even the glutes as you reach up. And then exhale, draw everything back, opening the heart. One more time, inhale, make it last. Exhale, sink in. Hands to your hips. Now your right foot's in front as you turn all your toes to the top edge of the mat. 
You can turn to either side. Find that crescent lunge, level the hips out, sink in a little more, and then cartwheel hands to mat, chaturanga. Meeting back in downward facing dog. All right, inhale, right foot lifts up high. Exhale, knee to nose, step it through. Roll to the outside edge of that left foot. Roll to the outside edge of the right foot. Open that right knee a little bit. Root down into the left hand. Roll the shoulders back. Now slowly sweep the right foot back. Side plank, stacked or lifted. Or maybe you bend that knee and grab that big toe and try to straighten that leg out. Find your breath, lift your hips a little bit. And we'll slowly step that right foot back up towards the top of the mat. Bring your right hand inside of it and lower the left knee all the way down. Now maybe you want to stand the hands or maybe you want to lower down to the forearms. You can keep your foot planted down and your knee hugging in against your shoulder, or you can turn the toes slightly out and roll to the outside edge of that foot. See what feels good. Now find that box breath again, finding that four equal parts, using the breath to still the fluctuations of the mind. Slowly come back up onto the hands, keep the left hand planted, roll the right arm back to grab that foot. Bending at the knee, try to grab the pinky toe side, and then press the right knee forward. Or again, you can roll to the outside edge of that foot and let the knee fall open. Now start to kick into the hand, creating that resistance as you pull the foot in towards the glute and peel that left hip flexor open. Check in with the left hand, lift up through the heart, find your breath, find that space in between. Now really, really slowly, gently, those toes, they float down, curl them under, and lift the left knee up to the ground. Roll the right arm up towards the ceiling, stacking the shoulders. If that knee is not stacked over the ankle, walk it back in so it is. Root down into the left hand, roll the right shoulder back, find your breath. Now lower the left knee back down and come up like reverse crescent, but keeping that knee on the ground. So right hand finds left thigh, right knee bends, left hand reaches up. Lower the hands to frame that foot and we'll drop back into half splits and work our way towards full splits as we slide that right heel forward a little bit. Level the hips out, draw the toes back towards the face. Keep drawing that right hip back in towards the socket, maybe bending at the elbows to pull your body down towards that leg. Pull the belly in, see what you can soften. And recommit coming back to that intention of staying with your breath. Just by making each breath last as long as you can, that'll keep you right there in that breath, in the body, out of the head. Slowly slide that right heel back in until your ankle's under your knee. Curl the left toes under, shoot it back, three-legged dog, bend your knee, open your hips. Arms stay straight and strong, head stays heavy, shoulders softening out of the ears. See if you can sink into the left heel and really lift up through the right knee and stack the hips. Slowly come back up, three-legged dog. And now really slowly keep pressing back through the heel as you slowly lower the right leg all the way down, lengthening through the whole back side of the body all the way. All right, right foot presses down, inhale, left foot reaches up. Exhale, knee to nose, step it through, lower down. Roll to the outside edge of the right foot and the left foot. Maybe pressing that left knee open. Maybe rolling to the outside edge of that foot. And now sweep it back like side plank, stacked or lifted here. Reach that left hand up, stack the shoulders, lift the hips. Maybe you bend the knee and grab that big toe and straighten that leg out in front of you. Check in with the right hand, engage your core. And then slowly sweep the left foot up to the top of the mat and lower the right knee down. Bring your hands inside that foot and maybe you lower down to the forearms here. Let your head be heavy. Maybe you roll to the outside edge of that left foot or turn the toes out towards that 
top left corner of the mat. See how long you can make this breath last. See if you can make that pause just as long. Slowly come back up onto your hands. Left hand rolls back, right knee bends. Maybe you can grab the pinky toe side of that foot and then sink back in. Finding the right place for that left knee. Maybe it's drawing in towards center and pressing forward. Maybe you're still rolling to the outside edge of that foot and letting the knee fall open. Root down into the right hand, lift up through the heart. Find that resistance as you pull the foot in and kick into the hand. All right, as slow as you can with control, those toes that float down, throw them under. And lift the right knee up, roll the left arm up, stack the shoulders, find a little more length from the left heel, from the left knee to the right heel as you roll that left shoulder back. And now we come up like reverse crescent with the right knee on the ground though, left knee keeps pressing forward, left hand finds right thigh, right hand reaches up. And then cartwheel hands to frame the foot, draw the toes back like half splits, and maybe walk that left heel forward, working towards full splits here. Maybe you start to bend at the elbows to bring that body down beneath the leg. Keep energetically drawing that left hip back. Slowly come back up, slide that foot back until it's under the knee. Curl the right toes under, shoot the left foot up, three-legged dog, bend the knee, open the hips, try to stack them. Head stays heavy, breath stays deep, right heel stays heavy, rooting down, shoulder softly drawing out of the ears and twist. Straighten the legs where the hips press back through the heel. Keep pressing through the heel as you slowly lower the left leg all the way down. Now bend the knees and come into a child's pose. See if you can keep your knees together. If you need to spread the knees to get the forehead to the ground, that's fine. Come back to that equal parts breath. Maybe you can find a little longer now, maybe five or six counts. And slowly come on up and then stone to the left hip and straighten the legs out in front. Press into the hands like you're trying to lift the booty off the ground. Maybe it even lifts off the ground. Flex the feet, draw the toes back towards the face, engage the quads, engage everything here. Press into the hands, draw the low belly in and up, engage the mula bandha. Lift the heart up towards the chin and draw the chin down towards the chest. And release. Keep all that length in your legs. Keep them activated as you inhale the arms up. Reach up. Find all the length. Keep all the length as you hinge at the hips. Feel that hinge as you reach, reach, reach out past the toes or as far as you can reach. Grab what you can. Lift up one more time. Roll the shoulders back. Now keep pulling the heart towards the feet. Maybe even just keep your head up, keeping the back of your neck long. If you really want to let the head get heavy, you can, but keep the heart lifted. Sometimes when we let the head get heavy, we kind of round into it. And sometimes that feels really good too, but it's kind of about the same as finding length, right? It kind of feels good to oscillate back and forth a little bit, but really we're mostly trying to lengthen. We already got enough like gravity looking to kind of round us in as we get older. So we're kind of trying to go against that, right? Finding that opposite motion of lengthening. All right, that box breathing, one full round here. See if you can sink in just a little bit more.
and slowly come back up. Bring your right heel right into the center line of your body. Try to lift the right knee lower down to the ground. Keep kicking out through the left heel, drawing the toes back. Now we're gonna reach for that foot, grabbing whatever you can. Maybe you can keep that heel lifting off the ground and keep that quad activated. Keep pulling the heart towards the foot and pulling the shoulders down out of the ears. Or if you wanna find a little twist, come on up. Turn and twist to the right and try to grab that big toe with the peace sign fingers of the right hand. You can use your left hand to grab a hold if you like. Maybe you grab a hold and that's enough or maybe you still wanna reach for that foot. Inhale, see what you can lengthen. See how long you can make it last. All your focus. Find that pause in between. See how long you can draw that exhale out. See what you can soften there. And then find that same pause. And slowly release, come back up. Straighten the right leg. Bring that left heel into center. Let that knee fall, kick out through the right heel. Lengthen up, reach for the foot. Grab what you can. Keep that right leg activated, spine long. Maybe you wanna find that twist, come up, turn and twist to the left now, grab that big toe with the peace sign fingers. And then maybe you still reach for that foot and reactivate that right leg. See what you can lengthen, recommit to finding those four equal parts, counting if it helps. See what you can soften on the exhale. and slowly come back up. Now bring your feet flat on the ground, reach your hands forward, and slowly roll back onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest. Find a happy baby. Maybe you want to straighten your legs out wide to the sides. Tuck the chin a little bit. Try to get the whole spine flat on the ground. And if you feel like it, roll back up to balancing here, keeping the legs straight and strong, keeping the heart lifted and the shoulders rolling back. Find your breath. And roll back into that happy baby. Maybe bringing those legs back out straight again. Try to get the lower vertebrae and the booty down, tuck the chin, pull the shoulders down into the mat. Find that four equal parts. And then hug the knees into the chest. Now cross the right knee over the left and grab onto your feet the outside edges of your feet and pull them in towards you. Keep the chin tucked. If you need more, maybe you grab, interlace the fingers in front of that left shin. All right, chin is tucked, face and shoulders soft, find your breath. And release, hug your knees into your chest. Hug your forehead in to touch your knees. Squeeze everything in tight. Lower your head back down, cross the left knee over the right. Grab the outside edges of the feet or interlace the fingers around that right shin. Pull the feet in, tuck the chin. Find those four equal parts. And release, hug your knees into your chest. Again, cross your right knee over your left. Bring your arms out like cactus. 
Shift your hips to the right and lower your knees to the left. Try to stack your hips here. Maybe your right toes curl around that left calf. Maybe your knee comes all the way down to the ground. If not, maybe your left hand helps it do so. Now see if you can get your right arm, your right elbow, your right hand all the way down, grounded on the mat as you gaze out over the right hand. Now relax the face, relax the shoulders, and find those four equal parts. If you don't need to count it, just make it last as long as you can. But if your mind starts to wander, count it out. So what would happen if you really did not let your mind start thinking about what you're doing next, what's for dinner? What would happen if you really just decided to give yourself this last little bit of time here? Really soaking up these last couple of breaths you get to take. See what you can let go on this next exhale. And then keep letting go on that hold when you're holding the breath out. Softening everywhere you can, the eyes, the jaw. One more full round of that equal parts. If you're using the left hand to press the right knee down, relax that for this last round so you can sink in just a little bit more. And slowly come back to center, hug your knees into your chest. Left knee crosses over right, cactus the arms, shift the hips to the left, nope, lower the knees to the right, stack the hips. Maybe the knee comes all the way down, if not, maybe the right hand helps it. Now try to lower the left elbow, hand, arm all the way down as you gaze out over it. Relax your shoulders. See if you can find that six count inhale and hold. On the exhale, see what you can let go of, and then continue letting go even more on that hold, melting into the mat. All right, allow this last round of box breath to take up all the space in your mind, all the space in your body, so you can just be right here. Use all of your focus to stay with it as long as you can, and to let go as much as you can. And then slowly come back to center and hug your knees into your chest. One last time. And let your legs go long on the mat. Spread your feet as wide as the mat. Let your toes fall open. Tuck your chin a little bit. Bring one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. Close your eyes. Yeah, if there's something you need to do to get nice and cozy here, if you need to put on a sweatshirt or find something to cover your face or turn off the lights or grab your essential oil, go ahead and do that so you can really, really, really enjoy this time and sink in a little bit deeper. So if any thought starts to come up, feel yourself actively letting that thought go, just the same way you let go of the tension in your shoulders. See if you can really let go of that thought or whatever that was generating for you.
Start with your toes. See if you can relax your feet a little more, softening through the arches of the feet and the ankles. And see if you can imagine a gentle wave of relaxation slowly, slowly making its way up the calves as they soften. Relaxing your knees. Feel it soften those big muscles in the legs. Let your pelvis and your belly just get heavy as you soften through the belly, letting go. Feel that gentle wave slowly making its way up into your ribs and your lungs as you soften there, melting through the heart. Let your shoulders and head get really heavy and feel that gentle wave slowly make its way down your arms, softening your biceps, letting your elbows unwind. Feeling your forearms open and your hands melt. See if you can soften all the space around the eyes and the jaw a little bit more. Imagine there's a bunch more muscles all up in the face and try to soften all of them. Keep using the exhale to even find a couple more little muscles or more spaces in the head and the face and the neck that you can let go a little bit deeper. Invite a deeper breath back into your body. Invite movement back into your fingers and into your toes. And invite yourself to stay in this place of calm. It's always right here for you. Moving slowly, roll on to either side. And see if you can commit to keeping this intention, keeping this presence for the rest of your evening. Maybe you can make presence your main priority until you decide to go to sleep tonight. And maybe you can just notice what that does for you, how your sleep is, how you feel when you wake up. Slowly peel yourself back up to a seat, letting your head be heavy, keeping your eyes closed if you like. Coming back up to find that nice tall spine. Inhale, arms up overhead. Take all the good energy we created in class together in the hands. One more time, find a little space in the heart and the arms. Bring all that good energy down to the forehead for good, clear thoughts. Down to the lips for good, clear communication. And down to the heart for good, clear intentions. Let the head bow to the wisdom of the heart.
Bring the thumbs to that space above the eyebrows. Take a moment. Thank yourself for showing up. May all beings everywhere be free from pain and suffering. May our thoughts and actions in some way contribute to that. Namaste. Don't step on my poison oak, guys. Jeez. You know, that felt really good. You scratched it for me. Get out of here. Thank you guys for coming. Thanks for being